Hi, I'm Avatee Trailer, and today we're talking about the E-Trailer hard tonneau cover on the back of our 2022 GMC Sierra 1500. Now this can be a great option for you if you want a little bit more security on the back of your bed, if you are carrying any tools, and if you want to keep a lot of that water and wind out of the back of your vehicle, just give you a better ride overall. So let's check it out. You're gonna have two types of tonneau covers and your first type is gonna be a soft tonneau cover. Those are great if you just wanna keep any water or debris from the back of your bed and maybe make your bed look a little nicer too. Now with the hard tonneau cover, it's gonna do those exact same things, only it's gonna give you that security too. Because we're gonna have this very tough, and more rugged finish on top. So if anyone were to come by, they can't cut into here. And there's gonna be different styles that compact into themselves differently. So the one we have today is a folding style and other versions would be a roll-up style. And there's pros and cons of each one. Like with this fold-up style, it's really nice because we don't take up any of our bed or the inside of the bed. Like a roll-up style would, you're gonna lose this whole bottom area or most of it, but it's gonna take up a little bit more space up top. And then with other fold-up styles, you're gonna have some that actually fold up all the way to the back of your cab. So it's gonna give you a lot more space in your bed. But with those styles are gonna block your back window. And even with a lot of fold-up styles too that remain in your bed, this one's gonna take up less space than a tri-fold because it is a quad-fold because it's gonna take up less space per section. Now that total space is gonna take up in the Sierra we have today, if I measure from the back where our bed would sit, if I get a little bit more of an accurate measurement down here, that's gonna be a little bit less than 19 inches. So if you do plan on loading the back of your bed up with a lot of items, definitely keep this in mind. And another measurement we can get is gonna be how much space we have left in our bed. So if I go from the lowest point over here, that's gonna be a little bit under 23 inches. So if you have anything that can fit underneath that, you should be fine. And what's nice about this is this sits up a little bit higher. So if you did have a fifth wheel back here, you should have enough room. Still definitely measure just to make sure that fits here. And talking about how it's sit sitting up or higher up, we can get how high it sits up from our bed rails and that's gonna be about four inches. Not too bad, and it's really not gonna block a lot of your back window, because as you can see, it's gonna sit underneath these headrests we have in the back, so you should be able to use your back window. And when you're driving down the road, you wanna make sure if it's in this position, you buckle this into place. Now right beneath this buckle, you'll notice we have this weather strip on the bulkhead of our bed. And what that's doing is to help any water or wind from getting inside your bed. We're also going to have some additional weather strips on our bed rails themselves so nothing can seep in from the sides. Now go all the way down to the tailgate end of your vehicle. Another measurement you might be curious about is how high these rails sit. And these are actually going to be really compact. They only add a couple millimeters to your bed rails. Now when the tonneau cover itself is all the way unfolded back here, then that's gonna stick up maybe an inch. What I also like about this too is it's not gonna be blocking our stake pockets, so we'll be able to use those too. And right next to our rails, or what's connecting our rails to our bed rails are gonna be these clamps. And they're honestly kinda of easy to use. I didn't struggle with them too much. And it's not gonna require any tools that actually place it on here. Now the tighten this bolt that is right in the center, you'll just use an included Allen key. But in my opinion, I think this is a great option for you. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more entry level, just something to give you that extra security in the back of your bed. Now, there are some pros and cons with this one. If you are thinking about something that's gonna look maybe a little bit more clean on the top of your bed, something that's not gonna stick up as high, 
We have plenty of other options on our website too. Or if you want something that's gonna save you the most amount of space in your bed, if you want something that's actually gonna fold up and sit against your cab, if you don't mind your back window being blocked, we have options for that too. Now, if you like this one because you don't really mind a little bit of your bed being taken up, and honestly, you can actually remove this tonneau cover if need be. Now, the process, process for doing that can be a little bit tedious because it's gonna be held in place by four bolts. And if you are curious to see what that looks like, just stay tuned and we'll walk you through the installation. To start off the installation, I'm gonna be installing our rails and putting them together. Now, we already have our left side installed. It's gonna be the same process on both. So after when I get done doing this, then I'll put the clamps on, the tonneau cover on, and we're tested out. But to get this started, I'm just gonna make sure everything is in the correct, correct spots, that we have the correct parts too. So you notice this says right side right here. We wanna make sure we're putting that on our passenger side of our vehicle or if the vehicle is facing forward, that it's on its right side. When you are lining this up, it can be kind of tricky the first time. You gotta to try to line up this lip and tie the, inside this tiny channel right there. And if it stops at that, this point, it's because these bolts right here need to be loosened up. So if I just pull this out, you notice this is sticking out just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is Loosen this up a tad bit with this included Allen key until it's flush with the bottom. That looks pretty good right there. I'm gonna try this again. Sliding it right into place. There we go. You will keep pushing until that clip is all the way through and it's holding on. And then we will re-tighten both of these bolts. With this put together, we can put it on our bed rail. So a way you could tell this is on the correct side is if we have this rubber padding on top. And if that is making contact with your bed rails, you know you're right. And the second way too is this middle block we have at the back is closest to our bulkhead or nearest to our cab. Next up, we're gonna be installing our clamps. And to do that, we actually need to put them together. And this is what they're gonna look like at the very end. And you're gonna have four per side. So you're gonna start off with these two blocks. And one side's gonna have this side with the teeth. The other side's gonna be smooth. And the way these are gonna to go together, they're gonna to face each other just like this. With that side with the teeth, on top of the other one. You'll be able to access this hole in the bottom. You'll grab this knob with threads and just loosely thread it on. It doesn't have to all the way go through all the way yet. Then we'll flip it around to this large opening, grabbing this other bolt. We'll run this through till it makes contact and thread through the other side. Once this is complete, we can repeat that process for the rest of them and then start putting this on our rails. Now, when we are assembling these, like I said, it's gonna be four on each side. And we wanna to try to make sure these are evenly distributed. So we're getting even pressure throughout the whole rail. Now, when you get to the back side of this, in between the last two clamps, we're gonna have this plate installed. So before I can put this other one on, I need to put this in place so it doesn't get blocked in. And you're just gonna line it up with this channel and slide it into place just like that. And then we can grab our clamps and put them through. Now sometimes you might run into an issue where there's something on the back side blocking this clamp from going all the way over. And what you can do is just simply grab your clamp, unthread it real quick, and then when you place it, you just slide it through. Like on this front side, that's kind of tight to get to. Slide it over a little bit, 
and then I'll just slide this behind here and bolt it through. And you're just loosely tighten all of these for right now. When all the clamps are in place and you have the supporting plate right next to here, then we can start tightening them, them completely. The way I like to do this is to tighten this knob on the bottom first, because what this is doing is it's pushing up that interior clamp all the way up so it's flush with the corner of our underneath our rails, our bed rails. Once it's there, then we're going to grab our Allen key and then tighten up this bolt the rest of the way so it cinches in and gives us that good snug fit. After when you've done that, then you repeat that process for the rest of the clamps and then on the other side. With both of the rails ready, we can start putting on our tonneau cover. For this, I do recommend grabbing a friend just to make it a little bit easier, but you can do it by yourself. You just gotta make sure you're grabbing the right side and grab it from the center so it's a little bit easier to handle. And we're just gonna try to put this closest to our bulkhead. And the way you know this is going in the right direction is you'll see that we have this weather strip right here. We want to make sure that's facing our bulkhead. Once you've done that, we're just going to roughly place in place. You want to come by and start undoing this weather strip so it's sitting on the very front of our bed like this. I found it easiest just to get underneath the tonneau cover and just do it like that. But with it out like that, we can move over to the tonneau cover itself, unbuckle itself, and then start unraveling it. And we're mainly just doing this just to test our fit and to make sure everything is centered. You're gonna have this paper, this padding right here, and just remove that for the time being. We won't need this anymore. And now check our fit. A way you can tell this is gonna be even on your bed rails is if you push this around, and you'll notice we have this hook, and right now it's not grabbing onto these rails. So we're just gonna angle that a little bit more. You're kinda of hear a click. This looks like it's, being, it's more flush. It's actually grabbing on now. I also like to check that our tailgate's going to close properly and that we're going to have a good seal. And this is closing up really nice. We don't have any gaps, so we should be good to tighten this tonneau cover the rest of the way down. We're going to come over to the bulkhead. We're going to find that we have two T-bolts on the tonneau cover. And what the goal is, is to line these bolts up with these plates here at the bottom. Now you can see that's a little bit off, so I'm just going to have to adjust that. I'm just going to grab it, pull a little bit closer to me, until we get everything lined up correctly. When this looks good, then we can grab our spacers. And this is actually is a little tricky to do. You're just gonna push the spacer, spacer in place through that bolt and place it on top. But we gotta make sure we do that at the same time as the other side, so we might have to get underneath our tonneau cover. And with it all the way in place, you notice I have both spacers on. It's not a bad idea to come over here too and push that weather strip back out. Because if you try to do it on the side, it's kind of hard to access that center area. And with this pushed out, we can start really locking these into place. To tighten this down, we're going to grab a few things. So, we're going to have this knob. We're going to have a wing nut and this end cap too. And getting under there is a little tight, so I'm actually gonna get underneath our tonneau cover. You might have to lay down to do this. And I'm gonna start with that handle. And you're gonna just tighten it all the way down. 
And this is probably going to take you a little bit because one, this is a tight spot, and two, this is a long bolt. So you'll be here for a minute. When that is all the way tightened down, we're going to grab our wing nut and do the same thing. We're going to tighten this into place too. This is at a tight spot, so it's going to take me a little bit to get that on there. There we go. Put that in place. I'll just repeat that, trying to get all the way down against that knob. When the wing nut is in place, then we'll put this end cap on too. And just thread it on. And then you'll repeat these steps on the other side. When I grab this knob with the bolt at the very end of it, and we're gonna push it through this other plate. Now we actually have to move this plate and line it up with this threaded hole over here on the side underneath your tonneau cover. So I'm gonna push that over until everything's lined up. Then I'm gonna thread this into place. The last step is just gonna be checking this one more time. And what we're looking for is to make sure everything's moving pretty smoothly feels pretty even and everything's latching. Check our tailgate too. That still feels pretty good. Now this last step is optional. You can come through with some butyl tape. It comes with your kit and if you do find you have any gaps on your tonneau cover you can plug it up with this too. But that's just a look at the installation and some of the features of the e-trailer tonneau cover on our 2022 GMC Sierra 1500. Thanks for watching.